I would like to welcome all of you here today. My name is Carolyn Humphrey, and I'm president of Friends of the Library, this fabulous new building that Kingwood is so proud of. It's just awesome. Every time any of us walk in here, we just say, wow, all over again. So uh, we're so glad that you decided to come today, and we will get started. Uh, and I'd like to introduce, if you don't know him already, Congress Congressman Ted Poe, who will be talking to us first. Okay. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's good to be around uh, normal people and uh, <laughs> who all talk the right way as well. But uh, it's an honor for me to be here today. Uh, this is a this is a great event. Uh, uh, you know the the opening of the library. Uh, you know the library in a lot of communities uh, has been the the center of education. I tell young people that uh, if you know how to read, you go to the library and you can travel anywhere you want to travel. You can be any person you want to be and you can have any career that you want to have because it's all in the library. And now they're so high tech, uh, you can find uh, things uh, using the internet and uh, all the other fancy things that happen with uh, uh, electronics and Facebook and Twitter and all of those things. But uh, this is a, a unique event, I think, because one, the building was completed on time. Um, that's, to be, that's to be commended to the architect uh, for getting it done on time. But also, it's a project where the city of Houston, working with Harris County to make sure this happens. And the city of Houston funding this project and then uh, Harris County through uh, uh, Jerry Ebersol's office will continue to maintain the project uh, so that uh, both working together to bring this uh, library to our community. And so it's great to see uh, different agencies uh, working together and of course friends of the library make it all happen as well uh, trying to motivate people to uh, finish the project and do their job. Um, I have a proclamation here honoring uh, uh, the library. Rhoda, would you want to step up here, please, and I'll give you this proclamation. Um, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but, but it says uh, that uh, basically today the city of Houston, uh, working together with Harris County, that being the mayor and East Parker, and Jerry Ebersol and Commissioner's Court, working together to establish this library for the betterment of the community and the education of our greatest resource, the children of this community. So, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we would like to ask uh, Dr. Jim Davis, a uh, senior pastor at the First Presbyterian Church of England, to offer our invitation. Good morning. It's a pleasure and privilege for me to uh, offer this prayer. I invite you to pray with me, if you will. God, you're the giver of every good and perfect gift. So as we stand here before you this morning, we pause now to thank you for all the gifts you've given us. We gladly acknowledge that some of your greatest gifts to us are the gifts of knowledge, wisdom, understanding. We recognize, God, that these gifts come to us so often as we read, so we are glad to be standing here this morning preparing to open this new library. As we do so, God, we wouldn't forget that the insight and inspiration that comes to us as we read is the result not only of our reading, it's also a gift of your Spirit. So send your Spirit not only on us who stand here now, but on every person who passes through the doors of this library in the future. As women and men enter this building, whenever they do, may your Spirit, O oh God, enter with them. May they be led by your spirit to discover here in this library insights that lead them into truth. For all truth is your truth, O God. Whether it's the truth of science that teaches us about our world, the truth of medicine and psychology that teaches us about ourselves, or the truth of scripture that teaches us about you and your love for us and your laws for our lives. So now, Lord, remembering that it comes to us not only as a gift of government, but as a gift of your grace, we prepare to open this new library Help us to use it wisely and well, we pray. And as a Christian, I make my prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Next, 
We are so delighted to have Mayor uh, Parker with us, and so we'll turn it over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very happy to be out here at t t today and uh, uh, know how long many of you have been working for and wishing for this project to be completed. Uh, started hearing about this project from Councilmember Wiseman. <laughs> and hearing about it. <laughs> but uh, a good handoff to Councilmember Sullivan and uh, we continued to make progress. I understand how important libraries are to communities. I grew up here in Houston and uh, my library was the Ring Branch Library out in Spring Branch. It's a very tiny little mm -hmm. library. But it was my window to the world. Uh, my grandmother who taught me how to read was the one who took me to the library. And when she was in her 90s and living with me, uh, her lifeline to the world was uh, the Montrose Branch Library and the large print books that we would bring home by the, the shopping bag full on the, uh, on the weekends. Libraries are not what they were when I was a child. They're not just about books. They're about uh, electronic media. They are about the internet. But they are still a place where communities come together and imaginations are ignited. There aren't very many projects that we get to do that have so many good things about them. I mean, everybody loves libraries, but this library is uh, especially significant. The cooperation and coordination between uh, the city and the county are actually not new, but uh, they are perhaps reach their highest level to date in this particular library. The fact that this design was done sensitively on the, the land, that there, we were able to respect the trees, that there's still a wilderness feel around the library is a great thing. The fact that this library is uh, lead silver designation for energy efficiency is a wonderful thing. That, there's a, uh, that, that it recycles and encourages people who come in here to recycle all elements that uh, we would love to see in every library in the city. But cooperation and coordination between the city and the county lead to cost savings, lead to better value for our taxpayers, and in this case, absolutely better service for all the citizens of Kingwood. I'm happy to be here today to be part of this, and I'm really excited that uh, one of my counterparts in county government, Commissioner Eversole, is here to help cut the ribbon. Uh, we are delighted to be part of this effort. <laughs>